This is probably one of the most beautiful places here in Hawke's Bay. The view is outstanding. Hello guys, welcome back to another episode. We just finished our day's work. We're getting ready and we're going to explore the farm we're currently living on with the owner in his buggy so it's going to be a lot of fun to check it out. We're going to check all the cattle, all the sheep, all the cows, see if they're healthy and healthy and well because obviously the land is so big that it takes a while to get around the land. It's going to take a bit of time to check them all out so it's going to be a lot of fun to check out the, the full length of this place. 2,000 acres, unbelievable. Can't get over it. Hi Madeline, time to explore the farm and go on a little adventure here with Tom so it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, like, hop in beside you. Yeah, but you can open that door. There's like a latch just in the middle there. Yeah, no worries at all. Right. So we're gonna go get the, the working dogs. They're the dogs that obviously control the sheep, do the work. There they are now. He's fluffy, isn't he? Oh my God, they look scary though, don't they? Oh my God, he looks Where are you gonna put them, in the back? Yeah, they'll get on the back. Oh wow. Oh, 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 don't eat me. Oh, 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 oh. They're just going for a run. Yeah, they're probably the most friendly dogs you can get. They're so gentle with kids. Oh my god, they're so big. Let's go. Get, get in the back. Here. Get up here. Get up here. Get I wish you there. Get up here. Oh, look. Oh my god. Yeah. Three of them. I just got to chill out in the back. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think they're going to chill out. <laughs> you ready for some work? Are you excited? Yeah, they are, they are indeed. Up you get. Up you get. <laughs> And they listen to you pretty good, yeah? yeah. It depends though, like, if they uh, early in the morning when they first get out, they're just so hyped up. Oh yeah, do you want yeah, them to like, use their energy, of course. They need to have a few runs before they start listening to you. Makes sense. Watch up. Where are we going now? We're going just up to check the, the ewes and lambs. Checking out the lambs, okay. And then we're gonna go and see the cows and the new calves. Awesome, okay. Doggies are having a lot of fun. I find it fascinating with the, the white face. It looks yeah. like a mask. Yeah, so they've got a little bit of probably Hereford in them. Hereford? Yeah. The straight black uh, Angus. Yeah. So there's a little bit of cross mixed breed in there. And there's some red ones. For some reason we get some red ones. Yeah. Because I think one of the bulls, one of the fathers we have, he's just got a gene that produces oh, okay. that. We always have about four or five red ones every year. But you want them all black? You, you really like want them all black, yeah. 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 It's hard because like it's hard to sell them. That's the thing, they all, they all have to look perfect, don't That's they? That's right. Yeah. What about the white face? Is that okay? Um, no. It's okay sometimes. <laughs> Most of these lambs are about four weeks, six weeks old now. They look like babies, yeah. yeah. And they're beautiful. Yeah. And none of them. Is up, see up there with the, yep. you know, those little pine trees. That's yep. the highest point on our farm. Yeah. And that's the highest point in the area over there where those pine, that forest has been harvested. That's yeah. the tree. Right. And that's our neighbours. So that's where the golf course and the lodge. You can see the lodge just yeah. over there. Can you see it? Yeah. And the golf course. It's all out that way. So our boundary is these pine trees here. Yes. That's there. That's massive. By pine trees. Yeah. It's absolutely insane how beautiful it is. Wow. Such a nice valley, isn't it? <laughs> Call this the Hobby, the Hobby Mountains. Big property. It used to be 10,000 acres. Uh, 14. 14. 14. Yeah, so now it's two. It's been 2,000 for 80 years. Originally they were farming and they had all the family back in England and everyone was getting paid from some, my great grandfather. He worked all his life and he sent all the money back to England and they built nice houses and everyone lived well over there. Aww. And then. Like to his extended family? Yeah, well yeah. to his brothers and sisters and yeah. his father. Yeah. 
and then he and his two other brothers divided it into three so that one with the pine trees that's Tarapa which we're going towards and Halpri which is that way and he my great grandfather kept this block and kidnappers mm -hmm. so he had the biggest head 7,000 acres what made them choose that name though kidnappers that's Cape such kidnappers, a strange that's name when Captain Cook came ashore it was one of the first times he landed in New Zealand yeah. and the Maori came out and kidnapped right that's what I was thinking maybe there's a story uh, behind that there was yeah. a Tahitian boy on the ship and they thought he was a Maori boy so they stole him back <laughs> And so that's where it came from. Oh, right? God, yeah. Bit of, yeah. Uh, what is it? Sinuses? No, I'm so good. Like, what a beautiful place. We're surrounded by hills and sheep oh, and lambs and dogs. The lands of hobbits. This is the hobbiton land. So, like, it's so. You can't even see how far the land goes. That's how big it is. And the sheep get to explore this beautiful landscape that surrounds us right now. And yeah, it's all hilly and hilly and very hilly, like the. But like the this Hobbiton. is what like 2,000 acres are. Yeah. And it used wow. to be 14,000 guys. 14,000 in the past. 80 years ago. 18, 80 years ago. 80 ago. years ago, yeah. Yeah. And imagine looking after 14,000 acres of land. Wow. It's so... So yeah. big. It's challenging, like. It is challenging. Whoa! It's like a roller coaster sometimes here. It is. See your cows over here as well? Yeah, that's where we need it. All the way over here now, guys. Living the life, guys. Living the high life. Very lucky doggies. Enjoy the water when you can. Where's me dinner, ma? That's what we call our ma back home. We call him ma. Where's me dinner, ma? That's what we say back home. Yeah, we always we say ma. Yeah. Maybe you guys say mother, or mom. Say mom. Yeah. Oh, oh the fast. Yeah. Full of energy. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. The sun is coming out. Look at him go. <laughs> Very confused little lambs. <laughs> oh, that looks quite dangerous. Yeah. Hopefully we don't fall over that. <laughs> oh my God. You can see the hills are kind of drying out already. Yeah. yeah. It's all that wind we've been getting. They look like they've all been newly uh, planted. Yeah, we planted it three years ago. You planted it? Uh, well, we got a planting crew in. That's our forest. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You know they nearly planted they, all these trees. You know how many they planted? Uh, they should have planted about 50,000. 50,000? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly, that's a lot of trees we planted. Yeah. Over a four day period. Because you planted about 1,000 per hectare. Yeah, we did about 50 hectares in here. Wow. This is quite dangerous. Yeah, right. Oh my god. Are we supposed to drive back up this way? No, no, we're going in a loop. Okay, so we're going over to the cows now. Holy moly, they can handle some uh, depth. Yeah. Yeah. Oi, this is where the terrain gets a bit more wild. <laughs> oh, boy. notice how it's kind of sandy? Yeah. So this is sand. Yeah. In the middle of the farm. Yeah. Look at all the shells. Isn't that crazy? Oh my god, yeah. So the water used so to be out this way? Yeah, this was underwater. Wow. When, when like a long time ago. A long, long it's time. Like, like, look at the shell. These are like fossilized. These are fossils. Oh wow. And we find like some interesting these. artifacts here, yeah? Yeah, well I found what I think might be a bone. Yeah. I've got Aww. it at home. It was like this round. So if you actually start digging into this, you might find some things. Oh yeah. Maybe. So this is I don't know how old this is, but it is old. It could be millions of years. Yeah. It's quite compressed. This will eventually get turned into um, limestone rock, you know, like it'll get compressed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what this what this layer is here. I don't know if that's wood, old, or mud, or... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Could be a uh, bow submerged in the soil, <laughs> an old Maybe, wooden yeah, bow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think there would have been any wooden bo boats with no, this. No, millions of years yeah. ago. I know. <laughs> so we're actually in the middle of the paddock at the moment, but... Uh, we're up quite and this, high too. Yeah, yeah. quite this high. Probably, we might be about 100 meters up. Wow, and this used to be on the water. Wow. wow. Yeah. Definitely. I thought, um, See I thought all the water was rising. Yeah. <laughs> Not in the opposite. It's it's volcanic. Rising volcanic, anyway. yeah, yeah. yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. With the plates too, with the Pacific and Indian. Yeah. So cool. Get the hammer. Get the hammer and the tools. Yeah. It's quite big, no? You'd love to do some digging here, Glenn. Oh, see if yeah. you find some fossils. <laughs> I don't know why. Come down to the pickaxe. Yeah. yeah. I say you find some. It's just like a... So now we're into the cow side of the farm. 
Oh lovely, that took a long time to reach the yeah. other side. That's how big the land is, it takes forever to get around. A couple of hours to explore on this land you would. It's very untouched as well which makes it even more exciting and fascinating. So fascinating, so cool, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Like Europe, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it looks like French. Yeah. You can see all this Manuka, all this area down there that planted. Oh, the so Manuka our boundary, trees. Our boundary goes over to that. See that round hill? Yeah, yeah. We're just below that with that kind of browner grass. That's our boundary. It's all marked out pretty well. You know what belongs to you? Yeah. Woo! So much fun. In the background, it looks like somewhere out of uh, Europe or France. The yellow fields. Two red babies down there. Two, no, two new babies? Red ones. Ah, oh, red ones, of course. The odd ones in the bunch. Would you get another bull? <laughs> we don't know which bull's doing it. Because <laughs> <laughs> we run them all together. Uh. So the guy in the other paddock is rounding up the sheep now to cut their tails off to keep them clean. Yeah, yeah. But like during like calving season, do you do anything? Do you help Carving? them? Yeah. No. We no, just check, just we just check, we come and check. Them. If there is one having trouble, yeah. Um, you can see one's died down down there. See, there's just one by itself. Mm. She's died. That died probably a month ago. I don't know why, but we can't get to that area with a motorbike or a tractor, so I can't move. Oh it. no! Okay. Yeah, it's a dead so cow. all the cows belong to Tom here in the background. I know now. I know why that cow has been so crazy. You know that white-faced one. I was like, why has she been so crazy? It's because these guys are. All the cows are coming in now. Yeah, because because there's someone just down below us here coming up up this way. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. They're very smart. They can detect. Yeah, all the sheepies. So someone's going to come up this hill probably soon below us. I see that. See over there. See where that dirt is. Yeah. See all that white dirt yeah, just yeah, to yeah. the right. Yeah, he's yeah. just there. So he's gone to there. And he's put his dog down and around, and it's bringing them up for him. And so, they're so far away. Yeah. yeah. But the cattle will eat that. Sheep won't eat that. Mm. But the cattle, if there's a drought this summer, yeah. they will rip all that up and eat all of that. Even though it's got no nutrition, it'll fill their tummy up. Yeah. And then next autumn, there'll be lots of grass seed on that. I see that now, yeah. It's pretty, yeah. pretty dry. And that, well, it's, it's dry, but it's not. It's kind of protected by the mat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But nothing can really grow through the mat. All the fresh grass can't get through that, you know? So this has to all be cleared off. Look at it. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, it really, really just comes up, doesn't it? It has to all be cleared off before the new grass can grow. Yeah, it's a nightmare. But if we have a drought this summer, yeah. the cattle will... And this all gets turned back into biomass for the soil. It's yeah. good for the soil, but it's not good for growing the, the best animals? grass for your animals. No, and Hawke's Bay is really known for that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that will protect um, ev from evaporation, the soil. Okay, that's pretty good then. Versus like that paddock we saw over on the neighbours over there. Yeah, where they've just eaten it. Yeah, I've seen that yet. Yeah. Which is the old way of farming in New Zealand. Where you just keep it's it not the best strategy though, is it? It works in a place like Ireland where you always get rainfall, but in a place like Hawke's Bay where you can have three months with no rain, or even maybe this year six months. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is this only this area of New Zealand only known for this kind is of a very dry, dry area. weather? Yeah, yeah. Yes. It, feels it will get hotter though, no? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's gonna be like a up, desert. Like, it'll be like sort of 30, desert. 30, 32 degrees this summer. Yeah. Where's the wild goats? Get them! <laughs> oh, cheeky little feckers. Yeah. <laughs> Get them. Tell me about babies as well. They're good at they good at climbing. Yeah, they they oh, breed up yeah. really quickly. Oh, goats yeah. are mad. Yeah. They, they they wreck your land though, they eat everything before they eat all my trees. Cheeky little feckers, yeah. They eat all my trees that I plant. Poor really Tom. Makes me sad. <laughs> Invest a lot of money in planting trees and then the goats come along and just eat them all up. <laughs> You're a lovely cow. He's old then. That's a girl. He's an oldie. He's oh a yeah. Skinny. Yeah. She's not that uh, scared, she knows you. Yeah. She knows you well, Tom. Yeah. Oh, she's so pretty. Hello. She's coming over to say hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a great time, aren't they? Living the life. Can we drink that water? God, it's pretty intense now. Yeah. You have no fear at all, Tom, do you? Well, when you do it every day, it's just... Yeah. You know what the... You know it's what like the motorbikes can, can handle, yeah, 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 yeah. Have you ever had an accident before? Not at my touch foot, not out here. Okay, okay. Like I was saying, I did oh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. out the main road chasing yeah, the machine. torn. Yeah. All oh, them small ones, they're so cute. Yeah, so all it's the cows are tagged with a year. How old they are. 
the red, green and yellow. So next month we'll bring all of these cows and calves up to the yards. Oh, and we have to take them as well. Yeah, we'll have to mark. They're everywhere. You actually do have a lot of uh, cows. Yeah, we've got 250 cows. See that green tag? That's a two-year-old. So yeah, 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 I see it. She's young. The face though is mad looking. It looks like, like a Halloween mask. Oh yeah. So I think the cows are going to be very protective now, aren't they? Yeah, I'd stay in here just because yeah. the dogs are here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they run at the dogs and they somehow ah. just turn and suddenly run at you. Yeah. We don't want that. Ah. We're all black cows. Ah. <laughs> That's the good Angus but steak. But the, the bulls are both... Can they get in? <laughs> the back, Madeline? I'm just getting scared. But um, the bulls are both, are both black or how many bulls? They're all there? black, yeah. I'll show you when we get home. Still exploring the land, it's taking forever to get around, which is so fun. It feels like a personalized safari trip around these 2,000 acres of land. Never ending amount of sheep exploring the land here, madam. Let's walk up to them because they're like, like very young sheep and they had like lamb and they are babies. They're like, they don't know what's going on. Come on, Okay, doggies. Oh my god, they're getting a bit tired now, so they're all sitting in the back. <laughs> Did she have twins? Yeah, she's had twins. It's pretty common, isn't it, having twins? It is. Gotta go up the hill now. <laughs> but it's beautiful view. Go from this hill to that hill. Oh. Gotta go up there? No, we we'll just part. <laughs> oh, I was thinking that, yeah. I don't want to freak you guys out. <laughs> <laughs> have you driven up there before? Yeah, yeah. Not dangerous, no? Yeah, it is a little bit steep. And it's just with this grass being fresh. Being yeah. Slippery. Yeah, I understand, yeah. Well, so here's the best view on the land, is it? Well, it's a pretty good one because you get to look right round. 360 degrees. Pretty good, yeah. Oh, look at the view, guys, in the back. It's beautiful. Sheep, sheep scattered out everywhere. We're going to heaven, guys. We're going to heaven. <laughs> wow. This is paradise, guys. Is this the nicest view this over Hawks Bay? Napier, probably this. My god, might be one of the highest points here. So beautiful. I wasn't expecting this. It's so raw as well because not many people nobody. actually come up here. So, no, nobody. Look at these old trees. This is Tom, this is beautiful. It's cool, isn't it? Imagine just like building a little uh, hut up here yeah. <laughs> under a tree. You can basically see all of the farm, you can see where we've been. So, See yeah. the little pine trees way up there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right round through there, you can see them. Yeah. Then we went all the way down. See those young cows down there? Five kilometers in distance. Yeah. And Ooh. there's home, you can see the dust. See that right down the beach, that's where the tractor is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so it is pretty far from your home, actually. Two yeah. kilometers away, yeah? Yeah. Didn't realize we're that far from the house, actually. Yeah. It's probably one of the most beautiful places here in Hawke's Bay. The view is outstanding. Okay. And this is what we're currently exploring at the moment, so... On the drive back down. <laughs> Lovely. It was a there? pleasant experience. Oh. A view. Check? Oh my god. Oh wow, so amazing. We have to check out the bulls now. These are the bulls. Oh, yeah, they are. They're mixed in with the sheep. Yeah, these are red. So these are our big daddy sheep as well. Oh, these nice. The the oh, look at them all there. Chilling out. Enjoying this beautiful green grass. They have kale together? together yeah, 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 yeah. They, yeah. Yeah? they have fights occasionally in a couple of years. Big, one. juicy bulls, aren't they? Are they friendly? Um, they can be grumpy at times, but... But he knows you well. Yeah, they, they, they're actually not as dangerous, I don't think, as cows with calves. Not scared at all. No. It's just chilling out. Got to clean the dog. It's a bit smelly. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Poor doggy. Oh my gosh. There you go. Oh, watch it. Found a few dogs that he ran enough around the fields. <laughs> yeah, that was a long journey around the land. It took quite a while, but it was so much my fun. God, that so was much like fun. Hours. Oh my god. Hello. Hello. You okay, buddy? Hello. Hello. Oh. Say it was me. You hungry? 
You have a freezer out on the wild. We send our sick sheep to these guys, yeah. and they kill them, and then because they, and then we get like a percentage back, and then we have to pay for more. Oh. So that's like mint stuff, and there's got the organic chicken in it as well, like yeah. the guts and things like that. How many oh, sheep do you give away every? How often? We can just buy it and not not give them the sheep. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, so that's like the dog food station. So that, this, <laughs> this is just like raw good meat. Like so really, yeah. no no like bad stuff added to that. Oh, cool, yeah. oh wow! It's just like medicine. so the, the fed well anyway. Yeah. They looked after. Yeah. Do they like them? Yeah. For a bit more energy, but they love the meat the most. Yeah. He's right, and these are really cozy in the back. He's sleepy. Look at this guy. They listen to your authority anyway. Yeah. <laughs> They listen to me because I feed them. Yeah. That's the authority. It's like, give me more, give me dinner. more. They need food. <laughs> Is that every day, that dinner, yeah? Yep. Wow. That's what they have every day. Unless we kill like a cow or something and then we'll give them the meat from that. Okay, okay. There you go. All well fed. Good raw meat. And a few beaks. biscuits yeah. for dessert. So guys, right. hopefully you enjoyed that awesome experience of flying around the land in the, in the Jeep. Yeah. It was so amazing to explore everything so we're back at the house and we came to an end and we hope you enjoyed this little tour and well we hope you enjoyed it as much as we did and yeah if you like our adventure please like and subscribe and follow for us for more thank you, See you guys. Take bye care.